Hello, so I'm going to show you some clips of me dumpster diving and I think I'm going to make a whole separate video about how I got into dumpster diving, um, why I dumpster dive, that kind of information, um, answering some questions that I typically get from family and friends that find out about me diving. Um, but for today, what you need to know is yes, I dumpster dive. Yes, I do eat food that I find from the dumpster, and um, also I have been dumpster diving for about a year, and so in some of the clips that I'm going to show, it looks like I don't spend a lot of time with the dumpster, I don't really put any effort in looking, and that's because I've been going to those dumpsters for about a year, so I pretty much know what I'm looking for at those dumpsters, um, and also it was raining. All right, so this is the Sally Beauty dumpster. It looks like there's not much in here. So these are all empty. Well, they're not empty, obviously. They're just not great. They're not what I'm looking for. All right, let's go to the next one. Yeah, nothing in here. All right. Is GNC and GameStop. Oh, this feels heavy. But it also looks like everything's kind of destroyed. This might be decent. with like dirt like that. I don't know what that's about. Uh, I'm not seeing anything else useful. That's it. Alright, so this is the staples. Looks like it's mostly just empty boxes. It's empty. Yeah, this isn't going to be anything that I'm looking for. <sighs> Sometimes when the dumpsters are super full like this, they're just not worth my time. Alright, so I'm at Gordon Food Service. Let's see what they got in their dumpster. Like there's some tubs down there. I think that's butter. Or sour cream. I'm not gonna mess with that. It's like a dairy product. Um, a lot of chicken and milk. I don't know if you can see that. Um, gross. Ooh, there's some orange juice back there. I don't know if you can see that, but that's... Yeah. <sighs> oh, that's grass too. Awesome. <sighs> this just looks kind of bad. I'm gonna flip up the lid and see what's on the other side. Grab it. Uh. So 
that looks like they made smoothies. Ugh. A lot of chicken. tomatoes because I really want these last couple juices. These ones aren't bad, so I'll grab these. I'm gonna get out and go back to my car. Alright, so we are at Dollar General. Alright, here we are. I don't know if we'll find anything. I have better luck on Tuesdays at this store. Started putting stuff in these the last day. Broken tub. But some laundry detergent. Looks like a couple toys. Some oh, this is cute. It's missing his nose. How about I can just paint that? Sunflower seeds. And there's a boat toy thing. I'll take it. One of the kids at work might like it. Alright, I guess that's it. I do want to say I found those um, containers of protein powder and I got home and opened them up and they were all souped, which basically, if you're not familiar with dumpster diving terms, um, basically the people at the company opened them up and poured in a bunch of water. So it's literally all ruined. I know that I didn't find a lot in the um, clips that I showed. Um, it was a rough night for diving, I guess. A lot of the stores that I wanted to go to still had employees there, and I personally don't feel comfortable diving when there's still people in the store and the dumpster's right next to the store. Um, so I know I didn't find a lot, but it just gives a good overall snapshot on what it actually looks like to go dumpster diving because it's not always massive holes. All right, well, that is all that I have for you today. Um, like I said, I'm going to make a video about how I got interested in dumpster diving, um, why I dumpster dive, and all of that good stuff, and I'll try to link it below when I make it and upload it. Hopefully, I'll make it before I upload this one, but we'll see. Um, yeah, that's all. Bye!